Welcome to the AW Services YouTube channel. This video is a bit of a help video for many people out there. I recently had a few comments within the space of a month in relation to the Champion Mighty Atom Generator and the associated issue of the generator rough idling, running rumpy. It doesn't sound like it's very well. So with any generator, take away the power factor. We only need to concentrate on the engine. With a generator that's running unwell, it's running lumpy, it's running um, not so like well on a rough idle, that can only really be a series of a few contributing faults. So number one, poor fuel. You could have had the wrong grade of petrol. You could have petrol that's expired and gone off. You could have like fuel that's contaminated with water. And then that's one area. So fuel, then look at the combustion side of it. So we're talking more carburetor. So with a generator that's running lumpy, you could have a problem with the carburetor as a whole. So do not discount the actual carburetor itself. So the carburetor is a mixture of hardened steel pins. You've got aluminium, whether that's um, cast aluminium or milled. And then you've got maybe some brass or some bronze in there. And you've got plastic. So with a carburetor, a piece of aluminium billet block material may have been put into a five axis CNC machine and that carburetor had been made by milling out material to create the actual physical shape of the carburetor that's presented before you. So there is a high chance that if your generator is rough idling or running lumpy that you could have an overall carburetor manufacturing defect so with a carburetor you've got various passageways that allow the fuel mixture to enter the carburetor and the combustion sorry the the cylinder and the combustion cycle air goes through the carburetor as well to mix the fuel you've got various component parts like jetting floats you've got wax stat and you've got other if parts that create restrictions. So if your generator is running faulty, before you start tinkering with it and pulling it apart, you need to ascertain, is it still covered by the manufacturer's warranty? If the answer is yes, you need to speak to a champion equipment um, importer or licensed um, kind of service centre in the UK and tell them what your problem is and they may send you a replacement carburetor under warranty. There is a high likelihood that your carburetor as a whole can be faulty and it isn't working regardless whether the fuel mixture is correct, whether the float's okay, you could actually have a knackered carburetor so other than the carburetor mixture um, you've got the then you've got the various mixture screws a choke etc on there that could be a problem a faulty carburetor from the point of manufacturing other issues to take into consideration are if it's running lumpy rough idling think about the fuel cap do you have the red lever, which is the vent lever, that must be turned open so when the engine's running, it's not drawing a 100% negative vacuum and the pump inside, the fuel pump inside the generator is able to suck the fuel into the carburetor because you've opened the red cap on the top of the filler cap. That's another thing people forget. With this one, you've also got a spark arrester so in the rear of the machine the right hand side of this one where the uh, spark where the actual exhaust comes out the back 
you've got a Phillips screw on there. You can undo that small screw and pull out a conical mesh gauze and that is a spark arrester. That builds up with carbon and that can actually stop the machine running and it can also create and contribute towards serious running issues. But its primary function is to stop hot embers shooting out the back of the exhaust and set it fire to a hay barn or field that you're stood beside when you're using it. So we've covered carburetor, we've covered fuel mixture, fuel filler cap, spark arrester, air cleaner, air filter. Is your air filter and clean? Um, is that clean? Has it been changed regularly? Is it blocked up? You need to make sure that your uh, filter is maintained correctly. Whether you're someone like me that likes to rub into there some carburetor, um, like, like an oil to preserve the filter, um, a light machine oil and scrunch that into the actual mesh to make it a bit more resilient to dust and things getting into the machine. So generally, if your carburetor, you think your carburetor is faulty, change that. Same with your air filter cleaner. Carburetor as a whole, send, get a message out to Champion and see whether they will change that. But I've heard two people leave comments on YouTube within the last month, which makes me think there could be a production run error or fault associated with their carburetors. I don't know whether the carburetors in these machines are made in-house or they are outsourced from another global partner, but two people having rough idle problems within a month based in the UK makes me think that there is an associated fault with the carburetor as one member on YouTube quoted, it was an easy fix and Champion sent him a new carburetor. I will link the two comments from both videos and somebody else's video together in the description of this video so you can find that. If you're getting problems, use my channel and this video as a port of communication and report your findings then that can help a wider audience and a wider user group of people with the same generator and then we can help others by numbers basically but i hope this video helps you if you like the video subscribe support the channel help it grow press the bell icon for notifications so you get updates when new videos and content is published Hit the subscribe button. I'm either at or nearly at by the time you see this 2000 subscribers, which is a huge landmark for me after growing my channel organically for the last 15 years. So if you can subscribe, which is absolutely free, it will mean an absolute lot to me and it will help my channel get more views from other people and it will popularize my videos so others can find them. I shut up and stop waffling. I've been lost in. You've been watching AW Services. Thank you very much. Bye bye.